Hello everyone, I am back at the sports desk today with the Arctic Winter Games in Alberta just a few days away now, back for the first time in a few years I might add due to the pandemic. I wanted to use this time to highlight some of the stories our wonderful reporters have done so far. Now Sarah Connors brought this heartwarming story about two brothers that will be competing next week. Cullen Saez and his team are practicing the one foot and two foot high kick. A traditional game originally played by the Inuit, it requires athletes to use explosive force while keeping their balance. At 13, Sayas is the youngest athlete from the Yukon to compete in Arctic sports at the upcoming Arctic Winter Games. For my age, I think I'm really good and that competing against older people is kind of scary, but this one's gonna, it's just going to be fun. And Sayas is a member of the Kiwani First Nation. He's one of a few First Nations athletes from the Yukon that will compete in Arctic sports at this year's games. One of the others is his older brother, 16-year-old Hudson. The games will be their first major sporting event outside of the Yukon. Honestly, couldn't ask for more. Uh, you know, I love the kid. Uh, we've done like everything together, so it's kind of just amazing both of us going to our first major event together. The Arctic Winter Games is a high-profile circumpolar sport competition for northern and Arctic athletes. Held every two years, it includes sports like alpine skiing, curling and hockey. This year's games will be the first since 2018 after they were cancelled in 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And Kent Driscoll got a look at the uniforms for the Nunavut team, including the colors of the territory and a Nunavut pin set, which when collected together shows Inuit making an igloo. And as Nunavut's Minister of Community and Government Services notes, this team has waited a long time due to the last games being cancelled by COVID. This is an especially significant uh, mark today since it's the first Arctic Winter Games since 2018 when, the, Arctic, the, when uh, the South Slave region in the NWT hosted. And with all of the focus on the sports, Jess Croucher has assisted in the creation of two special exhibits on MMIWG and residential schools that will run alongside the games. Yeah, absolutely. So the exhibits are a response to the long-standing tradition of pin trading at the Arctic Winter Games. So um, Eden Boulier, uh, Allison Platt requested that we host some culturally lit, culturally rich creative activities for pin collectors to earn their pins. So um, our work is primarily centered on Indigenous art and activism, so it only made sense to go down that path. Um, we have one exhibit um, which is from the Legacy of Hope Foundation called Generations Lost, Healing the Legacy of Residential Schools. It's an interactive exhibit that shares um, a hundred year timeline on the creation um, and implementation of residential school system in Canada, as well as um, steps towards healing and our historical resilience as Indigenous peoples. Um, and the second exhibit we're hosting is um, an art gallery called Honored and, uh, Honor and Remember for Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women, Girls and Two Spirit Plus Peoples um, and Missing, Murdered and Exploited Indigenous Peoples. So this exhibit will uh, hold artworks, um, paintings, beadwork, um, soapstone carvings, some really beautiful memorial pieces from our local people um, to tell our stories uh, around this issue. The Arctic Winter Games runs from January 29th until February the 4th and includes so many cool sports like the one and two foot high kicks, knuckle hop, snowshoeing and so many more. We will bring you all the action right here on APTN News. That's it for me. Back to you, Dennis.